Hi, it's Mark here from MIECCTV.co.uk. Today we're going to be looking at the most common lenses available on the CCTV market. Uh, these are mainly going to be the 2.8mm, the 3.6mm and the 2.8-12mm to varifocal lens. Uh, there are other lenses available on the market. Uh, you can have 4mm, you can even go up to 5-50mm. to um, There's many variants available. But today we're just going to be focusing on these three main lenses as they're the most commonly and widely used within the market. Firstly, we're going to look at the 2.8mm lens. Now this gives you a approximate viewing angle of about 95 degrees. So as you can see from the image on screen, it's got quite a wide angle of view. It's even slightly fish-eyed, um, but it's the angle of view that covers the widest area, but it also will get you the less detail. Uh, just to give you an idea, the cars in the image are approximately 7 metres from where the camera is mounted, and the red bin in the distance is 21.5 metres from the camera's mounting point. So what we're going to do now is just look at how that looks at night as well. So the cameras that we've used here, uh, this particular camera is a 2.8mm varifocal dome, uh, has up to 30 meter IRs, and this is in the uh, dead of night in complete darkness. So again, you can see the angle of view is around 90 degrees. Next, we're going to move on to looking at the 3.6mm lens. Now this is a slightly narrower field of view than the 2.8mm that we just looked at. Um, we have lost the car from the left hand side in the peripheral vision and it's slightly less fish eyed than the 2.8mm lens so you, um, you get things in slightly more detail than the 2.8 uh, if we look at that particular camera at night you'll see the angle of view is about 80 degrees which makes uh, items in the distance slightly harder to identify um, so to view this in greater detail what you need to do is either have a CCTV camera with a a longer lens, so a 2.8 to 12. Um, if you set the camera on a 12mm lens, we'll look at that now, you can see the angle of view is slightly narrowed, but everything is in much greater detail. So you've got much more detail on the car, much more detail on the bin and in the background. Remember, these items are 7 meters for the car and 21.5 meters for the bin, uh, and you've got it in much greater detail than when you had a 2.8 or a 3.6mm lens. If we now switch to view the 12mm lens at night time, you can see that there is much greater detail in the image. Uh, you can even nearly make out the telephone number on the, on the bin now, which you wouldn't be able to on the 3.6 or 2.8mm lenses. What we're going to do now is I'm just going to show you briefly uh, the lenses in both day and night mode uh, zooming themselves in really. So you'll go from a, a 2.8mm, then we'll go down to 36 and then we'll go down to 12mm. So you can see the comparison difference in both day and in night mode. And lastly, we're just going to look at the lenses compared side by side. So you can see we've got the 2.8, 3.6 and 12mm all set up running alongside each other. This completes our lens guide comparison video. If you'd like to purchase any of the cameras featured in this video, uh, we'll include a link in the description. Uh, you can visit mieccctv.co.uk for further information.